see so many options. So today it's set up uh, across the street. Oh, that was incredible. Is that clean water? Now you can see the skywalk fully lit up. Double portion of meat. Oh, oh, cop and cop. Thank you. <laughs> that one was nothing like the one I had in Patia Terminal 21. So much better. Joker show. What is that? <laughs> Good morning, folks, from Bangkok. You know I'm about to go get some pork soup breakfast. I mean, that's what's on my mind. <laughs> Every time I come here, I mean, it's like my first stop. If there's any way to get there, uh, I will. And so I'm walking down Sukhumvit. Pretty far walk, probably about an hour walk, to be honest, to get there, but... I'm using it as cardio and exercise anyway, doing work on my phone while I'm doing the walk. So actually I had just planned on doing a, like going for a long walk. I wasn't even gonna get the pork initially. I was gonna wait to eat, but you know, I've already walked three quarters of the way now. And so got street food on my mind, folks. I don't usually eat breakfast, to be honest. I, I very rarely eat breakfast. Unless like I, I had been fasting like the day before. Um, you know, it really has to add up for me to be like weirdly hungry in the morning. And uh, yeah, yesterday I did end up fasting. Like I bought pork at the grocery store at Lotus to, to cook. You know, I got the kitchen uh, in the condo so I can cook. Uh, and I ended up not eating. Uh, just fell asleep pretty early last night. I was so exhausted, but um, yeah, at least I have the kitchen to cook most of my meals. Of course, I'm going out to eat right now, but I'll try and do at least half and half. If not cooking, you know, 90% of my meals. That, that's what I'm gonna shoot for. I've been feeling really good, uh, much better than when I was slipping up. So I'm gonna keep it that way uh, for a while. I think uh, to get my productivity levels going strong and keep my motivation strong. I need to keep my uh, health in top priority. Uh, so yeah, that's a quick update. Probably another 15 minutes walking or so. Pretty sweaty, but it's not as bad as it will be later. It's gonna be <laughs> very hot. Cause I'll say I got outside at like 6.30 in the morning and it's already a little bit warmer than I expected. That's that March weather for you. When I had first arrived back to Bangkok like two months ago, I made a, a full video coming and eating at this place. It's called Rung Rung. R-U-N-G, R-U-E-A-N-G. I believe is how you spell it. Always tricks me out, but great spot. Sukhumvit, Soy 24, uh, right next to the Prom Pong station. Just top notch. Pork soup, pork noodle soup, breakfast, lunch. Uh, yeah, great spot. I won't do a full eating video this time just because I already did one. Uh, I will show you where it is again and uh, I'm gonna pop in and probably eat two, two bowls. I just get the pork, literally pork with broth. Uh, pretty much it. No noodles, no carbs. Right here, here we go, Michelin 2023. You can see, I don't know that it's open yet. Are you open now? Not open. Eight o'clock, okay, cup and cup. Hmm, interesting, okay. Well, I knew that uh, it seemed different because it's always full of people. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Not open yet, 8 a.m. Okay, noted. Noted. I think it's 8 to 4 or 8 to 5. Something like that is the hours. I'll just walk around for a bit. The, the malls aren't open yet. Uh, at first, I had thought to walk to Benjikitty Park from where I stay in Onnud. But it's really far. It's like an hour and 45 minutes walking each way. So, I mean, that's not doable. I guess 
Legend Kitty Park is only really viable if you live close by. You kind of have to live like Asok, Prompong, uh, or Nana Plaza, or Nana BTS rather, uh, to like, yeah, live in a comfortable walking distance to Benji Kitty Park. Would be great. I mean, or even Lumpini Park. Uh, also pricey, or uh, it can be even more pricey over there. Uh, yeah, super nice though. I'll go to Benjasiri Park, very close to Prom Pong Station. Uh, I think it might be like 10 minutes till till 8 anyway, so but yeah, let's just kill 10 15 minutes. The morning time over here near Prom Pong Station is a bit crazy, I'll say. Always crazy. I mean, this area in general is one of the more busy areas all the time. Uh, touristic and also it's a lot of people living over here and like working and so and the malls here it gets very busy over here but a lot of street food uh back by the prom pong bts uh that's why i like this area there's just like a lot of food there's the malls uh there's the benja siri park and then benja kitty park uh i mean i know it's like very touristic or it's it's pretty westernized this area uh, but for me, it's comfortable. Uh, staying along Sukhumvit, especially if I'm able to get a spot over here, it's comfortable, it's nice. Just to me, like the access, having everything you need, having the parks, being able to walk around and uh, yeah, the food options, it's like, it's huge. Even today though, in Omna, I, I really enjoyed, like when I stepped outside in the morning, I was like, this feels really good. Like this, this would be nice to wake up to every day, go for a walk, you know? Somehow, it, like, it even feels better to me stepping outside in the morning in the city of Bangkok than in Pattaya. Uh, I feel more motivated and productive, energetic here. I think just because it's less sleepy of a, of a place. You know, it's, it's a hustle and bustle here. So I think it plays into my personality well uh, for staying energized and motivated. Huh. Well probably end up being my long-term living spot but let's see how we enjoy some other places first uh, I just can't can't shake how much I enjoy Bangkok and every time I come back here how much it feels like home so it's a good thing I'll just for now I guess I'll just enjoy that fact and you know come back quite frequently and if I do decide to move here then so be it I'm just in Benja Siri Park now nice little park it's not huge, it's, it's got like a, just a big circle walking path around this lake. Uh, yeah, a lot of nature, it's nice. It's definitely like if you stay over here, it's definitely much closer than going all the way to Benja Kitty Park. So a lot of days I'd probably just find myself walking, yeah, over here in this park, come hang out in here. Uh, can't really like smoke joints uh, in the park and stuff here. It's too, yeah, that's not a good move, you know. They, they really don't want you doing that, and so I wouldn't advise doing it. I steer clear of, like, super public smoking. Uh, I've even done it before in a past video where I smoked, like, in Bangkok, outside, you know, on the streets, kind of. That's not something I regularly do. I, I've done it a handful of times, um, and now I'm even doing it much less just because I... If people really are bothered by it, then, you know, I don't want to bother people. Uh, it's more so just the fact that I've always been used to doing that in New York. Um, but it doesn't mean that I need to keep doing it. So as of now, I just smoke in the condo. Maybe rare circumstances where, uh, you know, time and place or something. I don't know, I'm waiting for a bus or waiting for something and there's a spot I can do it. I'll do it, you know, if nobody's there. Uh, but... A lot of the comments I got were kind of like, oh, like, you know, you're the reason that they are changing the laws. Uh, the only reason the laws are changing is because people didn't listen to the rules, which I, I mean, I don't believe that to be true, even in the slightest. Uh, I firmly believe that they're changing legislation here and, and maybe moving a different direction because there's a billion shops and it's clearly changed the city in such a way, um, even though people are not that rampantly smoking on the streets. 
uh, it still completely changed the city, just having it five shops on every single street. Um, changed the look of the city and like how the city is viewed, you know, at least from like a government perspective, you know. So, uh, of course, there may have been circumstances where people are smoking in parks or public places and got caught. I don't think that that is like the sole reason that they're trying to change it. Uh, I think you have probably even more people complaining about the smell on the, the balcony, like in their condo buildings, um, than like public smoking, especially because you've been able to smoke in the weed stores up until recently, pretty much. Uh, and you still can in, in a lot of shops. It just depends on, you know, if they're taking the risk, if they, you know, maybe they paid somebody off, but usually I think they're just taking a risk, you know, it's like selling hash. You can't sell hash here. Uh, so if they're doing it, you know, they're completely skirting the law. There, there's no uh, thing that you can get to, like, certificate, like you get here for selling the flour to sell hash. That's not a thing, so... Um, yeah, but anyways, <laughs> no smoking in the park, folks. It's a big no-no. Great park, though. I, I really love this place. Such a nice breeze right now, too. That morning weather. Well, now I got that breeze because of the water. That's why it feels good. Hmm. I have actually another 25 more minutes till the breakfast spot opens, so I'll just post up here and uh, reply to some YouTube comments for now. Got some cool statue here. Got some, uh, some competition going on as well. I mean, not a real competition, just a little game action. A little volleyball. No sand here. <laughs> Oh, that's cool they're getting uh, games in so early. That's nice. wonder how early they're out here uh, playing. This is cool too. I like the design of these little uh, structures here. Not structures, but sculptures, I should say. <laughs> Those are cool. Over here we have what looks like, uh, I don't know if these are animal mock-ups. Let's see here. Well, it looks like like animal mock-ups, maybe birds on the head. I think so, right? Looks almost like a like a bull with like a bird. It's like a bird, right? That's what it is. Yeah, like a bull or a cow. Hundred percent. We have this here, this like Illuminati uh, <laughs> symbol here. I have no idea. It's crop circles. That's cool. Yeah, the design of this park is really nice. Nice feeling. Have yet another sculpture over here. There's a lot of like uh, garden uh, type stuff going on. A lot of flowers, a lot of plants, a lot of greens, trees. This is nice. Yeah, interesting. Also says it's Bangkok Zero Waste Park. That's cool have another interesting uh, sculpture here. I don't exactly know the meaning of this or the, you know, what this is about, but a bunch of babies. Yeah, not sure. Again, cool though, you know, regardless if I know what the heck it is or not, there's definitely an aesthetic to it that I like. Uh, one more over here, let's just check it out. Yeah, it's cool. It's like abstract, like, uh, you know, body flowing, body movements and like, yeah, it's cool. I like that. Tons of street food in this area. Welcome back to the spot now. Get some, some breakfast. So many options here. That smells really good. Sometimes it just smells so good. It's hard to, uh, just walk past to be honest <laughs> when it's all sitting out and it's like relatively fresh you know pretty fresh at this time for sure uh, yeah it's difficult it's across the street sometimes this the streets so busy that it's that red light takes a while so it's always nice when it's 
a green light. <laughs> see show you a couple more little spots on the way i mean they have some stuff for 20 baht like these more snacks kind of pastry bread type type stuff and even like these like kind of dumpling style things everything else 40 baht that's cheap oh wow pumpkin wow Tempted to get some pumpkin. I wonder if they just boil that. Oh, see so many options. Really have endless, endless choices in Bangkok, truly. Like every day and in, typically in walking distance. I mean, even at On Note, there's, there's just as much food, to be honest. Maybe more because it's right next to uh, like where all those stalls are and at the mall, you know? So today it's set up uh, across the street. Usually it's where I first went to, but I don't know, they moved it across the street today. So I thought it still wasn't open. And then the guy saw me waiting and he's like, oh, go over across the street. And I come over here and there's like, you know, already 15 people. <laughs> so nice, excited. This is their menu right here. Toasted. It's mostly minced pork soup, you know, intestine, uh, fish, pork, or like ball soup, crispy fish skin, um, and like noodles. You know, usually you would get noodles with the pork soup, but I don't get noodles. Oh, I forgot how good the intestine is. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh, that was my favorite last time. And I just ordered two minced pork soups. Oh, yeah. I should have gotten one with the, uh, oh, with the, uh, whatever you call it, the insides, the intestines. Oh, well, it's okay. I just went and told him to add some intestine to one of them, so, uh, and the one is finished. Nice. Good amount of pork in there. Oh, perfect. Cup and cup, thank you very much. Here you go. Thank you. Nice. Oh yeah, there it is. Looks like, oh, I forgot to say no crispy, uh, crispy garlic. Sometimes that bothers me, but oh well. <laughs> I said the same thing in the last video. <laughs> if you watched the last one, when I came and ate this, right when I saw the crispy garlic, I was like, ooh, I should've asked for it out that. Ooh, that was incredible. So 120 baht for two, two big bowls. That's pretty cheap. Uh, around $3, $3.50, something like that. That's good, that's really good. Actually didn't realize I, I didn't bring my wallet. I only had 120 baht in my pocket because I wasn't even planning on coming to eat initially. It was just gonna walk. I got scared for a second before I looked at the, the price to make sure. I was like, oh God, I don't have enough money. I was already planning in my head, I have to say like, I'm so sorry, like my, my condo is, is a bit far, like can I pay you tomorrow a, an additional 20 baht or 30 baht, but I had exactly enough. Thank God. Too many times I've been in that scenario where my memory just doesn't work properly and uh, you know, I just forget or I don't think of it that I have only either no wallet with me or no money with me or not enough so it worked out oh that's so good that's like such a refreshing meal to have um best meal i've had honestly since leaving bangkok uh, as good as the, the food still is in patia um it's hit or miss but it, it, there's good food there for sure uh but still i think it's it, to me, it doesn't compare to Bangkok, both in the diversity of the food and just the quality too. I don't know, I just, I hit it on the head much more often in Bangkok with like quality food and just feeling more fulfilled from the meal. So yeah, Bangkok, one of the best food cities in the world for sure. Scientific Museum and Bangkok Planetarium. That's interesting. 
that'd be kind of cool to visit. I mean, it's been many years since I've been to Planetarium, but like a science museum and planetarium thing could be pretty cool. Facility looks huge. Kind of hard to see like with this fence and all of this, but looks like a huge building here. I don't know. Just saw that walking by it, I thought that sounded interesting. I mean, and the fact that they have like little water here, I, I thought it was a park at first. It almost looks like a park. And then I saw Planetarium. Yeah, it could be cool. Okay, confirmed that surely some of these buildings are abandoned. I mean, this one here, wild. And I'm gonna try and get across the street real quick too. Kind of have to force yourself. Yeah, this is uh, clearly abandoned here. A lot more abandoned spots as you go further away from, yeah, like those main areas that I would usually stay. As you walk to Prakanang and past Prakanang to Anud, and I'm sure as you keep going further, especially off of Sukhumvit, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of abandonments, abandoned residential buildings. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys know more than me. Let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you have any input about that because it's kind of interesting to me. It's like right just surrounding all of the, you know, like new, surrounding the new built up stuff, you know? I'd assume stuff like that will get bought and renovated in the coming years. Uh, I'd imagine, I mean, I think Bangkok has kind of had like a, a surge in popularity in the past few years, or I know it has, you know, and so, Maybe it's just something that hasn't, people didn't get to it yet to, to renovate it, to rebuild something. Uh, Bangkok's also a huge city, so there's, yeah, there's gotta be just a lot of them. It'd be fun, uh, I mean, I know you can't really go into abandoned buildings like that, but it'd be fun to check out some abandonments if I could find some that are accessible, relatively accessible. You know, maybe finding a way into the building sometimes I do believe sometimes there's even guards, there's like a guard working, even if a, there's no business in the building, you know, it could be closed down for many, many months or a year. I think sometimes they still, they hire like a security to stay there just to make sure maybe nobody goes in there, gets hurt or people just don't mess with the business, the, the building, I don't know. But I've seen it before, you know, a building is obviously no business going on there, nothing there, and like there's a security still working around the clock. So it could also just be because it's so cheap here to pay uh, like wages, to pay somebody to, to work. So yeah, pro probably that. Just outside of Benjikitty Park. It's about 6 p.m. now. I just came over here, walk around a little bit, uh, see if there's a sunset. You know, sometimes get a nice sunset view from over here uh, and I never filmed over here when it was dark so it, it's really nice when it's dark over here the lights are pretty cool so yeah, I wanted to wanted to revisit uh, it was pretty cheap it was 70 baht on a motorbike taxi from on station well a little bit away from on station to the park so that's that's good that's a great price. Two dollars. And on the way back, I will take a um, train because it's cheaper. 25, 30 baht. I just wanted to get over here as quick as I could since the sun was gonna set. Um, yeah, it's worth the extra dollar in that case. I just love it over here crazy they have some condos that are just like directly on the park pretty much have like direct uh, park access from the condo which is it's wild and some of them are like they don't even look brand new so it's like one or two that were already there I guess then the park went up and shortly the value went way up and then there's uh, like some new ones too I just imagine it has to be pricey that would be so nice though I mean I prefer walking in a park like this, I think, than, than to like a, a beach walk. 
Uh, but it's hard to say. If Maybe if I did it every day, then I would get sick of it too, you know, so. I'm not sick of like the beach walk in Jam Tien, but maybe it's not as uh, fresh as it was when I was first going, when I first discovered it and got into a good consistent routine there. I think now it's harder because it's like a little bit less new. It's less fresh. I like changing up the spots, you know, come somewhat frequently. I think it, for me, it's important to keep me motivated in general. It is nice out here. As you can see, like the sky is already super nice. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but you can hear or the sound, the microphone. There's so many nature sounds over here. Wow, that's cool. I guess bugs? Yeah, mostly bugs, birds. Let's see, let's do a walk through the park a bit. Huge park. I mean, I came over here in one other video when I had first arrived back in Bangkok. It's because I always stop in here, even if I'm not staying in the area. Uh, yeah, I'll stop by probably first or second day, so. Can't help it, I like it. I know it's like popular, super popular now and, and new and a bit trendy, but it's, you know, it, it's for a reason, I guess. It's, it's super good. I thought about going to like a rooftop, but I decided just to come here. I don't know, I was researching like, you know, good rooftops. Uh, so we're rooftops near on the rooftop bars, stuff like that. But since I don't drink, I think the park is a better option. Maybe I, I will try to go to a rooftop spot though one time. It's been a while for me. Have what looks like, uh, you know, I don't know what those are, like lily pads. Obviously they're not lily pads, but they have that uh, shape. I don't know what those are. Anybody knows what kind of plant that is or, or whatever, let me know. No clue. There's a lot of things though that are either native to Thailand or just like far outside of the USA uh, realm, like with insects and bugs and different plants that I just like have no idea sometimes. You know, it just looks completely foreign to me. Trees, and so I really have to like look it up or have somebody literally tell me because a lot of times I just don't know. A lot of the stuff is very different, completely different than the species of things that we have in America, so. Oh, it really does feel good to be back in Bangkok and back at this park. Thought about extending my trip in Bangkok a little bit longer. Probably won't do it. I think I'm still gonna dip out as planned, but not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out by tonight, by tomorrow. Um, but I'm just enjoying it so much being back already one day for you know 24 hours, less than 24 hours. Uh, it's making me want to extend it. it really is. Uh, I'm gonna decide. It's a little pricey. It's actually, it's more economical for me to just fly and uh, and go and start renting a place uh, there. But I would like to stay here. So I think any of those condos here, 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 something with a balcony that you can just see a, a good sunset with a little bit of cityscape would be super nice. I always wanted to have like a high floor. Like I've rented a lot of them, of course, uh, short term, but like a high floor um, with a great sunset view, you know, high windows and a balcony, mostly the high floor to ceiling windows. And, you know, ideally as much of the wall as possible. I mean, that really creates a, creates a feeling in the house. So that'd be cool, that'd be sick. A little pricey, of course, but maybe if you go a little bit outside of, or, or quite a bit outside of uh, tourist areas, maybe there are spots like that 
you know, maybe it doesn't need to be like a brand new condo building either. Um, but for that kind of thing, it is usually pretty modern, you know, the floor to ceiling window kind of stuff. Uh, I don't really care about most of the, like, I, I don't need the building to be new. I don't need uh, necessarily like new amenities in the building uh, or new like furniture in the place, stuff like that. But I do uh, like some modern touches like, uh, yeah, floor to ceiling windows and, and design like that. Um, yeah, not that that's like what I'm typically renting, but just just talking about the future, I'm always thinking about what I'd like to actually shoot toward and rent long term. Um, yeah, something like that. If I'm if I'm renting in Bangkok, and and the alternative is something closer to a beach area, which would you know be a sea view instead. It's like the that's the beach version of it. So yeah. The, basically the Patia version, um, which would be a decent alternative. But yeah, if I can if I could find something here in the next year or two, uh, that will be my prime choice. Crazy that I, at one point this was kind of just getting built, like most of this, like this whole part at least. Um, yeah, during like the beginning of when I was first coming here. When I first started coming to Thailand, you know, just before COVID or, or, or I think the first time I came here actually was, was during COVID, very like early in COVID. 2020 would, I believe, be the first time that I arrived. It's not too busy either. It's not like slammed by any means at all. You know, there's definitely people out here, but it's like a Wednesday night this is where the entry gets denied still in uh i guess in progress the next part of benji kitty park or or you know like a little addition to it i'm not exactly sure what is going to be put inside here but this is a large little indoor section i'll say that you definitely hear work going on at the moment so I remember this part as well being in construction, early construction, several years ago. You know, it looks like, I don't want to say, yeah, yeah, they got a good amount going on and done, but looks like there's still a lot to go, depending on what they're actually doing. But the park, you know, there's like three parts to it. There's, it's huge enough as it is, so I'm curious what that's going to be. <sighs> The lights have gone on. It's not really dark yet, so we'll say the real effect does not come into play, but I can see the lights on now. <sighs> Definitely need to go get some food after this, so probably just stick around here 30 minutes, <laughs> something like that, wait till it gets dark, uh, hang out for a bit, and then go, yeah, go eat something. Just gonna cut into the other part of the park here. I need to get some water. I am gonna have to avoid going to buy a bottle. I, I think there's uh, some fountains. I think there's fountains over here by the the toilets, but I'm gonna check it out. This is the part of the park I usually chill in, walk around the the lake. Um, Let's see, let's see, is there water? Definitely no water. I don't think there's water found anywhere in Thailand, really. None that I can think of. I'm sure there is somewhere, but it's not very common. Definitely not common for a water fountain. <laughs> so I started to try to think back of actually when I seen one here, realizing, okay, it wasn't here that I'm thinking. I'm like, you know what, actually, I don't think there's ever been a time where there was a water fountain here. I know there's a, a water issue, you know, filtering issue. It would, it would be a lot to, to put in. So surely that's why it's not so common compared to Europe, America, they're everywhere. Now, a lot of times, like in the parks in New York and stuff, the fountains don't necessarily work. They either don't work or the taste is not good, you know, so it's not really clean, but 
can be nice to have, but yeah, yeah, even in New York, it's very hit or miss, I'll say. And the, and the, some of the nicer parts, which are few and far between, mo I mean, most of the parts get run down and have issues, but there are a lot of nice parks also, you know, uh, no water fountains. A lot of times they just don't work when you press the button. It's just budget issues and, you know, the, they don't have enough room in the budget to go and fix something like that or even put it into place sometimes. And with this part over here, uh, I'm not even really sure what they built here. I I'm not positive exactly what that is. I feel like I remember when that was also like being worked on. And so, you know, maybe I'm even confusing the other part for, for this part. I'm, I'm not certain, I'm not certain. Um, but yeah, I believe this was literally just getting built a few years ago when I came here. Like two years, like not, not that long ago, you know. Interesting, they do build stuff very fast here. I could be mistaken anyways, but I don't think I am. I don't know, it's probably the other spot too. You guys can see I get, I get jumbled up. Looks like there's a water fountain right here. Wow. See, that quickly, I have to eat my words and show how much I just have no idea what I'm saying. I gotta take my hat off for this, right? Let's see here. Is that clean water? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's to wash the hands or if that's drinking water, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm not sure, I, I truly can't tell. And I realized once I started swab putting some water in my mouth that I mean, maybe this is to wash the hands. I don't know, folks. Uh, again, I'm gonna need to ask the audience on this one. Is that a drinking fountain or is that to clean your hands? So it didn't taste like completely clean, I'll say that. So immediately that made me think could go either way. I don't know. Yeah, please let me know. That one I really want to know. <laughs> that will serve me in the future to know. But obviously, oh wow, there's construction. There it is. I'm over 30,000 steps today, which is nuts. Usually I average 6,000 steps per day in Pattaya. So six days, it's six, average days of walking in one day here. The day is not even done. Uh, that's wild. I mean, that's not a typical day in Bangkok, but I'd say I could hit typically easily 15 to 20,000 a day in Bangkok. I did forget how much more I walk here. Even New York City, I walk much more. I do like to be able to get out and easily walk on a sidewalk uh, on somewhere paved or you know made for walking it, i guess i'm just used to it but i think it just makes me walk more and anywhere i'm going i just tend to try and walk even if it's far as long as it's not crazy far crazy inconvenient i will choose walking over a train over a, a taxi whatever it is uh, yeah thirty-two thousand steps so far we'll probably hit thirty-five thousand or more it's a lot it's pushing it my legs are feeling it but actually they were feeling it more earlier uh, i think i had a few rests in between like sitting back at home uh, had a meal you know cooked up some pork minced pork i think that helped helped me uh recover for a moment get some energy back but i'm feeling it a little bit you know i'm getting way back into shape i'll say i've been eating much more clean, cooking all my meals. Uh, you know, I'll have the occasional thing here and there, but I'm not eating rice. I'm not, yeah, I've been, been good for at least a week at this point. I've been hitting the gym hard. So things are, are back in order over here, uh, mentally, physically, you know, doing much better <laughs> than, I don't know, in the past when I made some videos, you know, showing how I've Fell off, uh, fell off a little bit, but 
No, feeling good now? Excellent. These bird sounds are, you know, making me feel even better. Now I'm starting to get hungry for sure. Getting dark, the moon is out. Sliver of a moon. So I, yeah, I went to Fat Buds today. That's the number one dispensary. That's the best, the best cannabis shop you're gonna find. Uh, it just made me like really think about all the shops I've tried in Patia. Of course, Sky High is good. Um, the bud tender, they're, they're solid. But it doesn't really compare overall what you pay for how many grams you get and for how good the quality is. It's just on a different level here at, at Fat Butts. And even their, their staff, the friendliness and the speed of everything. You know, they have a huge smoking room upstairs. It's like everything is top notch. Everything is what you would want. Um, so many strains, like such a high level of terpenes, a high level of flavor and smell, but taste as well. You know, a lot of bud out there smells pretty good, smells good, but does not taste great still. So yeah, it's refreshing to have, refreshing to have new flavors, new, um, yeah, much nicer feeling, much more positive effects from it. Um, started to feel again like oh my tolerance is so high this stuff is not working uh it's like a <clears throat> almost a waste at this point that, that's how i started to feel in patia but <clears throat> yeah have a renewed sense of of yeah the plant and having it work well for me so i think i was just using the same ones too frequently as well and i was going really budget uh th this is a little bit more money but it's like i'm talking like four grams for one thousand so uh, you know, two fifty each, six dollars per gram. That's really good for the the level of indoor flower quality. It is is like, yeah, it's unmatched. So very happy about that. Um, and yeah, it stirs up the appetite a little bit. It does. Had two meals today, but I, I did well. They were reasonable, not too crazy meals. So. Let's see, what, I gotta think about what I actually wanna get for uh, for dinner here. What is this? Is this like sparking repeatedly? I don't know if that's a light. I think that's just a light. I, I just assumed there was some live electricity happening. In, you know, this Thailand, it's always some electric wires or, or something going on, but just a little light. Yeah, that sunset is nice. That, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let me think about the food options. Now you can see the skywalk fully lit up. Pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. The park is so big, it took me 20 minutes just to get to the main road from uh, the park. But I am finally to the street, to Sukhumvit Road. I think I'm gonna go to Terminal 21 to eat because it's right there and we are here so let's do that the light is green let's get across yeah that's that's the easiest choice when you don't know really where to go i think terminal 21 easy option they have a lot of options in the food court let's go I, i've never eaten in the the bangkok one only in patio so yeah let's check it out i thought about getting some middle eastern foods now that I was like talking about it uh, earlier, I really want some Middle Eastern food, but let's see where the night goes. Uh, I might have to find myself on Grab or something, ordering, I don't know, I'm craving some hummus, craving uh, that, that good stuff, so let's see. Oh, it's a little crazy out here. It's uh, 7 p.m. You can see it's busy, a little bit of honking, I bet it's going to be pretty packed in Terminal 21 as well. Food court is going to be slammed. As long as we can get a seat somewhere, uh, we're good. Starting out with some classic stir-fried basil with pork little spicy, two fried eggs. I mean, we gotta wet the palate first. 
and a little cucumber. Double portion of meat. Oh, oh, cop and cop. Thank you. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's find a seat now. Thank you. Good sized portion of meat, and the eggs look good. I noticed he didn't didn't give me any chili, really, huh? Little to to none. There's a few little pieces. I can, you know, they're always afraid to give a foreigner chili. So he, he did ask me spicy. I said yes. All right, let's try it out. The ultimate test. The one that I had in the Pattaya Terminal 21 was pretty good. Six out of ten, six point five, something like that. Mm. This one's better. It's not dry. Next time I would ask for some more chilies, but otherwise, yeah, it cooked really well. That one was nothing like the one I had in Patia Terminal 21. So much better. That was honestly 9 out of 10. Like, such tender pork. Good flavor, really clean flavor, like, really fresh pork. Like, that was so good. I'm gonna get another one, obviously, right away. Good portion, too. Like, I know I asked for a double portion, but it was like four times the portion of, of some of them, so. The egg was perfectly runny. Yeah, I'm gonna have to order another one. Oh, I think this is, is this the same spot with all these these people right here. I, I think, honestly, think it is. Uh, no. Uh, now get, getting jumbled here. Getting jumbled. This is not the spot. This is the spot here. This is the spot here. Yeah, I'm gonna order one more. That was fantastic. That was really good. Now I see why you guys were in the comments saying I'm crazy when I was criticizing the Terminal 21 food court because it was just a completely different thing. I, I, I mean, Patia, yeah, different food court, different. I know it's both Terminal 21, but you know, different people cooking it, completely different thing. So, yeah, it was different. I would eat this every single day <laughs> and it was actually cheaper, too. Uh, it's a good price with two fried eggs around 70 baht I mean that's really really good uh, for that portion for a this is for a double pork portion uh, I mean that was like really good value I mean I know I bought two still I only spent 140 baht and I I am stuffed like and it's not always like that you saw I ate four in another video seven in the whole video people were telling me I was crazy because the portions were small and I don't eat that much of the rice uh, so I, I had to order so many in this case you know there was just so much more pork so yeah pleased with that that was that was excellent mm. made it back to Anut station nearby the condo Long day, folks. 40,000 steps later. Joker show? What is that? <laughs> Very good.